The cubic equation 4x cubed plus px squared minus 14x plus q equals 0, where p and q are real positive constants, has roots alpha, beta, and gamma. We're given that alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared equals 16, and asked to show that p is equal to 12. Before I go ahead and do that, let's just consider that we have roots alpha, beta, and gamma. So expanding that out, we get x minus alpha. Then I'm going to have x squared. Take away beta plus gamma x plus beta gamma. Expanding out again gives me x squared. Take away beta plus gamma x squared. Sorry, the first one will be x cubed. Plus beta gamma x. And then we would have minus alpha x squared. Plus alpha beta plus gamma x, take away alpha, beta, gamma. Tidying that gives me x cubed. Then putting these together gives me take away alpha plus beta plus gamma x squared. Putting the x's together gives me plus alpha, beta plus beta, gamma plus gamma alpha x, and then take away alpha beta gamma. Now, if we take this original cubic that we had and divide through by 4, that gives me x cubed plus p over 4 x squared. Take away 7 over 2 x plus q divided by 4 is equal to zero. Now comparing this coefficient of x squared with this one, we can see that alpha plus beta plus gamma is negative p on 4. Also, alpha plus beta plus gamma squared, take away twice alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma, which is the same as this one, just in a slightly different order, is actually equal to alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. So you can verify that with some simple algebra. So, that gives me that alpha plus beta plus gamma squared take away twice. Now let's compare this and this, which gives us negative 7 on 2. That is going to be equal to alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared, which we're told was 16. Now, alpha plus beta plus gamma is negative p over 4, so this is p squared over 16, plus 7 is equal to 16. So p squared over 16 is equal to 9. p squared then is going to be 9 times 16, which is 144 giving us that p is equal to 12, since we were told that p is a positive constant, so it can't be negative 12. And then we have done the first part of the question. Before we continue with the question, let's just summarize the results that we have from our expansion at the beginning of the question and the cubic that we actually have. And remember, this cubic, now that we know that p is 12, 
is x cubed plus 3x squared take away 7 over 2x plus q over 4 is equal to 0. So we have that alpha plus beta plus gamma is going to be negative 3. So we can do that by comparison or by using the first part of the question. We also know that alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma, which is the same as this bit, that is going to be equal to negative 7 over 2. And finally, the last one here, we know that alpha beta gamma is negative q over 4. Negative because this one's negative, this one's positive, so they have to be opposite. Okay, now let's go ahead and use this. So we're doing part B of the question. So we have 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta plus 1 over gamma is equal to 14 over 3. Let's put the left-hand side over the common denominator of alpha, beta, gamma. So we're multiplying by alpha, beta, gamma on the top and the bottom all the way through. Or if you like, we're multiplying this first term by beta, gamma over beta, gamma and so on. So that's going to give me beta, gamma plus alpha, gamma plus beta alpha over alpha beta gamma that's equal to 14 over 3 and that tells us if we rearrange that alpha beta gamma is equal to three times beta gamma plus alpha gamma plus beta alpha divided by 14 but we know this bit here is negative 7 over 2. So alpha, beta, gamma is equal to 3 times negative 7 over 2, all divided by 14. So alpha, beta, gamma is going to be negative 21 over 28, which is negative 3 quarters giving us q over 4 is equal to 3 quarters, which is in this relationship up here, and that means that q is equal to 3. So if we just update the information now, this one's negative 3 quarters. And then in part c, we want to find the value of alpha minus 1, beta minus 1, gamma minus 1. So let's alpha take away 1 into beta gamma, take away beta, take away gamma, plus 1. So that's going to be alpha beta gamma, take away alpha beta, take away alpha gamma. So that's alpha, beta, gamma, take away alpha, beta, plus alpha. And then we're going to get take away beta, gamma, plus beta, plus gamma, take away 1. So tidying that up, it's alpha, beta, gamma, take away alpha, beta, plus alpha, gamma, plus beta gamma, then we've got plus alpha plus beta plus gamma, take, uh, take away 1. And using the values we've already established, that's negative 3 quarters. So take away negative 7 over 2 is plus 7 over 2, which we can write as 14 over 4. And then we know that alpha plus beta plus gamma is negative 3, and then we've got take away 1. So
So that's negative 3 over 4 plus 14 over 4. This is negative 4, which is negative 16 over 4. And that gives me negative 5 over 4.